If you bought the Adventures into Forgotten Realms set, you more than likely saw a lot of iconic D&D items. Magic items like the portable hole, deck of many things, and even the hand of Vecnar turned into cards. But Fiend Lash is not a magic item in D&D. Which is actually really strange. So I came up with some homebrew in D&D Beyond for you guys to add into your own game. But without any further ado, let's begin. Fiend Lash cost one mana, one red in order to summon onto the field inside the card game. So to attune to the weapon, what you're gonna need is to give up a little bit of red. Red meaning your blood. It takes a blood offering in order for Fiend Lash to actually like you. Well, not the most insane thing to do, it really speaks onto the type of character who would attune to Fiend Lash. Keep in mind, this is supposed to be a cursed demonic weapon. Now let's talk about the card effects. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has reach. Whenever the equipped creature is dealt damage, it deals damage equal to the power to the target player or planeswalker. Now, in order to simulate this inside the actual game of D&D, what we're gonna give it is a plus two to hit and to damage. When attuned to this, the wielder is able to and must cast Hellish Rebuke at will at the highest spell level they can cast it at if the wielder is not able to cast spells it casts this at level one the reason we're making this mandatory is because the actual card effect says whenever equipped creature is dealt damage it's not giving us an option to do so which makes sense if this is a curse item so mentioned many times before this is a curse item meaning there are some drawbacks that happen while using it. This item is sentient and it knows when its host gets hurt, so it retaliates back. The wielder who attunes to it also gets a flaw that makes it very prone to anger, especially to those that hurt it. Now let's talk about some of the benefits. While attuned to this weapon, you're proficient with whips and swords. This weapon can take the form of a whip or a sword sword. I got inspiration from this from how the card looks like, and let's be honest, a little bit of IV snake sword from Soul Calibur. You can switch between these forms with no action required, but you can only do so once a turn. In whip form, this has a range of 10 feet and does 2d4 plus dex or strength mod, and does 2 damage. In the short sword form, this has a range of 5 feet and does 2d6 plus dex or strength mod and 2 Damn. damage. And there you go, there goes Fiendish Slash. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want a link to it, I'm going to leave it inside the description below on D&D Beyond so anyone can check it out or add it to your games if you really want to. I spent a lot of time working on these graphics for you guys, so I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it boosted the quality of this video. But until then guys, catch you all later.